Okay, so here we've got um, question seven, part seven uh, B, part two from November two thousand sixteen, paper four, variant two. Um, I was requested by one of my students to answer this question, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So this is something to do with forming equations from some sort of a word problem. It says one day in two thousand fourteen, one euro was worth X rand. So one euro was worth x rand I'll just put up okay x rand okay one year later one euro was worth okay so this is in 2014 in 2015 one year later okay one euro was worth x plus one rand okay wait for that thing truck to go fast all right <clears throat> Winston changed 1,000 rand into euros in both years. In 2014, he, re he received four, four 4.5 euros more than in 2015. Okay, so in both years, he, he changed 1,000 rand. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a bit of space here. I'll move these things up there a bit. So he changed 1,000 rand. So I'm not going to use X again because we already have an X. I'm going to put Y rand. Okay, and he received a certain number of euros. Okay, so Y Rand became a certain number of euros. Let's say, um, okay, 1,000 Rand. Sorry, what am I talking about? He changed 1,000 Rand and he got a certain number of euros. Good, yeah. So he changed 1,000 Rand and he got Y euros. Okay. So here he chose, he changed 1,000 Rand, and let's say he got Z Euros, okay, because these are not the same, are they? All right, so we want to find out, um, okay, how many Euros did he get first, in terms of in the 2014, the number of Euros he got was 1,000 over X. And the number of Euros he got in 2015, okay, the number of Euros he got is Z, that's going to be 1,000 over x plus 1, just simple proportion, right? It's 1,000 times 1 over x plus 1, just cross multiplying. Okay, so now, that's how many he got in 2014, okay? And and that's how much he got in 2015. This, so y, okay, is 4.5 euros more, okay? This is 4.5 more than in 2015. So this is equal to the same amount he got in 2015, except it's 4.5 euros more, right? The amount he got in 2014 is 4.5 euros more than what he got in 2015. So to make them equal, you've got to add 4.5 to what he got in 2015, then they'll be equal. So we connected these things together with this equation. So if we just now write these in terms of what we have in x, we can say 1,000 over x okay or in fact another way well, i'll do this 1000 over x is equal to z which is 1000 over x plus 1 plus 4.5 another way of thinking at it is saying that he got more in 2014 than 2015 so if you subtract what he got in 2014 okay 2015 from what he got in 2014 you're going to get 4.5 so y minus z the difference between what he got in 2014 and what we got in 2015 is 4.5. I think this is a better way, actually, of thinking about it. So you have 100 over x minus, what does 100 come from? That's 1,000. 1,000 over x minus 1,000 over x plus 1. And that gives you 4.5. Wow, look at all that space I've used up. Doesn't matter. I have endless space here. <clears throat> I'm writing a bit big and I'm just trying to explain it all so that's why it looks a bit big here so really even if you do run out of space there's normally a blank page at the back of your paper but I'm just showing you different ways as well so that's one reason so I personally I think this is a much yeah, better way okay the difference between what he had in 2014 and 2015 was 4.5 2014 was more than 2015 so you put that first okay good so now we have this um, equation in terms of x we have 1000 don't forget a zero like I did up there. Minus over x minus 1,000 
over x plus 1 equals 4.5. Okay, now we want to make this become that. Okay, now some of you think it mission impossible, but no, actually it's quite easy. Okay, and this is something actually which I'm not certain, but I'm quite... Uh, I think it's highly likely something like this will come up tomorrow because you didn't get this kind of manipulation, you didn't get algebraic fractions, you didn't get solving quadratic equations and such. So I think it might be something that you might have to face in tomorrow's exam. Okay, I'm talking the day before the paper 4 of 2018 June. Now, we want to make that look like that. So what we've got to do is we've got to get rid of the fraction. So what the first step would be to make this into a single fraction. So I would there's different ways of doing it. One of the most uh, common ways is to say, okay, let's make them into equivalent fractions. So I have to make them with the same denominator. So, of course, if I have these two, I can multiply them together. I have x times x plus 1 minus, and this will be x times x plus 1. Okay, and that's equal to 4.5. Now I've got to make the numerators the same, uh, I mean equivalent numerators. So I multiplied x by x plus 1, okay, to make this. So I've got to multiply 1,000 by x plus 1 as well. I've multiplied x plus 1 by x to give x times x plus 1. So I've got to multiply 1,000 by x as well. All right, so these two are equivalent fractions, which we can now write under one big denominator, x times x plus 1. So you have 1,000x plus 1,000 minus 1,000x. Equals 4.5. Okay, 1,000x minus 1,000x becomes 0x. So you've got here, if I go down further as I can, so you've got here 1,000 over x times x plus 1 equals 4.5. Now I can cross multiply. I can multiply both sides by x times x plus 1, in which case you'll be left with 1,000 here, and that'll be 4.5 times x times x plus 1, so you have 1,000 equals 4.5x squared plus 4.5, and now we can bring everything to one side, so you have 4.5x squared plus 4.5 minus 1,000 equals 0, and we have to make it look like this, and you can see uh, I don't want to have any fractions. If I multiply both sides by 2, I'm going to get 0 equals 9x squared plus 9x plus 9x minus 1,000. Okay. I forgot to write the x there when I expanded this bracket. Okay. So be very careful in your steps. Okay. I'm, a bit, I'm in a bit of a rush because I have like tons of questions that I've been asked to answer from um, receiving them on my WhatsApp and Edmodo and on YouTube. All right, so <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a hurry. So just bear with me with a few little mistakes. Normally I, I catch them, you know, towards the end. So here we've got our equation. So he asked me to solve up to there, and that's what I'm going to solve up to there, okay? That was 7b part 2. It just told us to simplify it to that, and the rest might be about how to solve it. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because of the other questions I've got. If somebody wants me to continue solving this, they can send a request and I will do so. Okay, thank you very much for, for watching and see you in the next.